what is going on YouTube so coming back today with kind of an update video on the whole free agency situation so I had actually started my NHL free agency recap series yesterday but basically there were two big signings after I did my free agency video yesterday and I kind of realized that what I was doing was a little bit premature what I'm gonna do for that is the signings I had yes or the video I did yesterday I'm actually just gonna repost as the best signings so far and then you know once free agency does officially wrap up then I can move into that sort of stuff but I figured that the NBA is gonna have the same sort of deal so keep on going with what I'm doing but I figured just as a little like intermediate thing I'm gonna do um, yeah like it was just announced that Mark Shifley signed an extension so um, but, you know, I, I, I'm i going to do the same thing for the NBA where I just announced the biggest signing so far is kind of like a halfway through thing or, you know, after the first week or whatever. And then uh, keep going with what it, with what I was doing anyway and then push the wrap up series back a little bit. So also wanted to do the latest set of announcements today. Um, so uh, two, three, three, three big, uh, three medium sized signings. First one, Derek Williams to the Heat after he was released by the Knicks today. Uh, signed by the Heat on a one-year $5 million deal. Um, it's yet to be announced if the Heat will be able to get Tyler Johnson back. I don't, doesn't look like they will because the Nets have two guys on offer sheets right now. Excuse me. Alan Crabb, which I announced yesterday. And then also, obviously, Tyler Johnson. Now, um, I don't know how much time the Heat have left on that. I'm assuming two, or I'm assuming another day. But, um, you know, Alan Crabb probably won't... I don't think he's going to be brought back by the Trailblazers, talking to a couple of my friends that are Blazers fans. So, next one is James Michael McAdoo re-signed to the Golden State Warriors. Um, you know, after losing Festus Sazili, they probably wanted to... And, um, actually, a few other big players, Brandon Rush being another one. Um, they probably wanted to re-sign some of their deeper players on the roster, and... Um, they did that by, I believe it was yesterday or two days ago, re-signing Ian Clark, and then today re-signing James Michael McAdoo. Next one, Boris Diaw, trade officially announced. Um, if you didn't know that already, Boris Diaw was traded to the San Antonio Spurs. That was announced a few days ago. And um, what was not announced, might have been, but was not announced big time, was who it was for, and that is the Spurs get the rights to Oliver Hanlon. Next one, Maurice Spates, Big Mo, Mo Spates, to the LA Clippers on a veteran's minimum deal. And then finally, big news out of New York, the Knicks officially signed Courtney Lee, Joe Kim Noah, and Brandon Jennings, their three biggest offseason signings. So, talk about what I'm going to be doing later today. Later today, I will be posting, like I said, I'm going to be reposting, just basically reframing the video that I did for the NHL, because like I said, there's been big deals out of the NHL coming about maybe two or two or three a day, two to three medium size ones a day at least, and NBA, same deal. So I'm not going to start that entire wrap-up series until free agency is, or at least all the big players are gone, one or two, it is officially over, because who knows what dominoes will fall until then. That's pretty much it. See ya.